Now we're going to look at joint variation. So joint variation works like this. So again, the vocabulary will say y varies jointly as x and z. And so you would write it, y equals, you have this constant of variation, and it would be x and z this time. And they would all be multiplied together. Again, you can go down here and you can look and see how if you were going to solve it for y or solve it for k, it would look like this. So again, if you prefer to just have k equals, you are welcome to do it like that. I am always going to write my equations where whatever variable they give me first, I'm going to set that equal to and then whatever that looks like. So let's look at an example of this. Um, so here's the first one. It says, suppose y varies jointly as x and z. And so first thing I'm going to do is write what that equation would look like. Okay, x, z. And we want to find y when x is equal to. So find y when x is equal to 9 and z is equal to 2. Okay, so if I started with that, if I want to find y, I'm plugging in y here. My x, if I plug in and my z, I plug in. x is 9, z is 2. The issue is I can't find y because I don't know my k yet. Okay, so if I go to the rest of the problem, if y is 20, so if I have this equation here, if y is 20, when z is 3 and x is 5, so z is 3, x is 5, now I can find this k right here. So if I write 15k is equal to 20, and then I divide both sides by 15, k would equal, and I can reduce that down to 4 over 3. So now I can take this k and I can plug in and I'll be able to find my y. And when you do this, um, multiplication can be done in any order. So I'm going to go ahead and do this first. So 4 thirds times 18. And then if I did that, this is like 18 over 1. 3 goes into itself once and into 18 six times and multiply across. Y would equal 24. Okay? And there would be um, my answer. Let's try one more like that. Okay, so this time, let's erase all that. This one says, suppose R varies jointly as V and T. So R varies jointly as V and T would look like that. We want to find R. So we want to know what R is when V is 2 and T is 8. Okay, the issue there is we don't know that constant of variation yet. So now we're going to move down and see how we can find it. So if R is 70, when V is 10 and T is 4, now can we find what that constant of variation would be? And we're going to be able to. So 40K is equal to 70. If I divide both sides by 40, I know that k is equal to 7 fourths. So now I can take that 7 fourths and I can plug it in for my k. So 7 fourths times 2 times 8. And I'm going to go ahead and multiply these first. So 16 times 7 fourths. And I can simplify, so I know R equals 
28. And there are our examples on joint variation.